hello you are welcome how to evaluate this my definite integral so we have integral from 1 to 3 of x squared minus 1 dx now from here we integrate the what we have inside here so the integral of that will give us x raised to power 2 plus 1 then divided by 2 plus 1 then minus here we have invisible x raised to power 0 here then that's like we have x raised to power 0 1 times x raised to power 0 that's x raised to power 0 plus 1 then over 0 plus 1 so that's the method of integrate integrating and uh, since we are working with definite integral here we can now introduce the limit we have from 1 to 3 so we have from 1 to 3 and when we simplify the bracket so this gives us x raised to power 3 over 3 so we have x raised to power 3 over 3 then minus here we have x raised to power 1 over 1 so that's t minus x then we have the limit from 1 to 3 now from here we should understand that anytime we are integrating a constant be it 1 2 3 4 and so on it will just be that you know constant times the variable we are integrating with respect to so here we have 1 and 1 times x is just x so and uh, when we are integrating a function you know from general integration techniques we have x raised to power n with respect to x so here we just have integral of this now with respect to x we now be equals to x raised to power n plus 1 then divided by the whole power now so we had 1 to the power then divide by the whole power which is n plus 1 so that is what we have applied here adding 1 to the power here then we divide by everything there now when we introduce the limit here we are going to have the upper limit minus the lower limit so substituting the upper limit wherever we see x we put 3 now so it will be 3 raised to power 3 over 3 then minus 3 we have substituted the upper limit then minus minus substituting the lower limit now so we have anywhere you see x we put the lower limit that's 1 raised to power 3 then over 3 then minus 1 then from there we have this one can be simplified simply as anyhow you want it 3 raised to power 3 is 27 and 27 divided by 3 is 9 or we can say here power here is 1 then you subtract 1 from the law of indices that 3 minus 1 that's 2, 3 squared t9 so we have 9 minus 3 here then minus this bracket is t 1 raised to power 3 that's t1 over 3 minus 1 and this is also 1 over 1 here when you solve this bracket you have 3 here as the SCM that will be 1 minus 3 that's minus 2 over 3 here so here we give us 6 then minus into bracket minus 2 over 3 then you have this minus multiply and then you have 6 plus 2 over 3 then which give us 6 whole number 2 over 3 so therefore the evaluation of that give us 6 whole number 2 over 3 thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also give a thumbs up don't forget to turn the notification bell on in order not to miss out see you in the next class and bye for now